Today I'm going to take the Trek 7.3 out on the road to see how it performs, see how it handles. I'm going to take it into the city because I have a couple of little jobs need doing, so I may as well get those done today. The first of those jobs is this brake cable. It's a disgrace really, that needs to be replaced. If I don't, social services will probably come along, take the bike off me and give it to someone more deserving. Uh, the second thing is the cassette's worn out. It's been on for about seven or 8,000 kilometers. It's skipping now, and that definitely needs to be replaced. So I'll get those two jobs done. We'll go for a ride, and uh, let's see how it goes. Let's start off talking about handling, because that's one of the areas where this bike really does excel. Going around corners, moving around, changing your position. It's just superb. It's so agile. So, so agile. You can move around to your heart's content. Full control of the bike. Lovely. Let's get up to this corner and really throw it round. Oh, such a lot of fun. No problem at all. Around the other corner. Take some speed off. Lovely. Feels so good to throw around, it really does. So what about the braking? That's not bad. Not as good as disc brakes, but it's pretty good. I've had this bike going down hills in Kochang, 20 degrees gradients around corners, and it stops very, very quickly. Especially considering I weigh 95 kilograms. Let's get up to this corner. Do another quick stop, see how we get on. No problems at all. I love these V-brakes, absolutely love them. The brifters on this bike, they operate the brakes and the gears here. Easy to use on both chain rings, absolutely no complaints, I really like them. They're not expensive, I considered changing them there's just no point, these work really well. In terms of comfort, where the bike really excels is in the 20 to 40 kilometer range. If you're using it just to pop into your local town or to the shops, it's ideal. The saddle it comes with, that gives you a reasonable level of comfort, but it's not perfect. If you're looking to bump up the comfort levels, the saddle's one of the first things I'd look to change. I'd also look to swap out the tyres for something a little wider. The bike comes with 32mm tyres as standard, but I've swapped these out for Schwabe Marathon 35mm. The bike now feels more comfortable. If you're on a tight budget, this is a great bike in terms of parts and maintenance. Parts are inexpensive and also readily available, which is another big plus. Additionally, maintenance on this bike is really easy to do yourself and that can save you a significant amount of money down the line. We're on our way to Bike Fiction now, that's my local bike shop. If you don't know where it is, it's on the same road as the main provincial police station, Region 3, in the centre of Karat. You just go past the Little Lake and it's right opposite the temple. The guys have told me it's going to be about an hour to fix the bike, that's because they have to get a cassette from uh, another bike shop. That's not such a bad thing, it gives me a little bit of time to wander into town, only a couple of blocks away and get myself a cup of coffee.
ครับทิ้งไอ้อาฟันนี่ก็ดีอย่างนี้นอนก็เคยกินบ้างก็ฟังไปก็มาบ้างไอ้เจ้าคนนี้เนี่ยมาเนี่ยจังยังนี่โอ้ยนี่ได้ใจอยู่ใหญ่บอกไม่เจ้มองบุกอนเนี่ยบุกนี่เดี๋ยวว่าแม่มาตังค์ตาตังค์ตาให้มีลาบตาBike's ready to go now. It's all been fixed, you can see. New cassette, new chain, and that dodgy cable's been replaced, so hold your calls to social services. And that's now probably it for a couple of years. Other than routine maintenance, cleaning out the bottom bracket, a little bit of grease in parts, I'll probably not have to spend any more money on it. That's not bad, is it? Wow. These three guys doing a spot of fishing there. So that's it, I'm back home now. I never had a great ride. Every time I get on this little trek, it honestly puts a big smile on my face. This is a great bike to have for your everyday ride. If you had this bike, I'm sure you'd think the same too. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit it now. It honestly helps me out tons. Thank you very much. Enjoy your bikes, enjoy your rides, and I'll see you in the next video.